what's going on guys tactical bacon here and thank you for checking out today's video where i'm going to be basically trying to help you guys out answering uh, a couple of questions here that i get every once in a while on the channel and that is what kind of fps am i getting in daisy arma 2 and uh what kind of graphics settings do i use so right now what you're seeing is basically i just went in and put the uh graphics profile I guess you would call it on very high um, these are the uh, well right over here in this uh, upper left hand corner hopefully in this upper left hand corner you guys can see the frames I'm getting right now uh, we're getting between uh, I would say 40 and 45 right now um, even though there's really not a whole lot going on around me uh, that is pretty good considering I am on a uh, preset of very high actually let me go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080 which is what resolution I'm playing at um, see now we're pretty much sticking around high 30s low 40s um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually did that change I don't know if that changed or not yeah yeah it did <clears throat> um, but yeah, basically what you see here is normal, normal, high, high, disabled, normal, and so on and so forth. We're actually going to go ahead and not do that, but we're going to actually go ahead and come more into the town to see uh, how low the frames are going to get. Um, and we will be going over to Cherno and Electro... Uh, here at some point just to kind of show you guys the difference see now we're we're dipping into the mid to high 30s as we get closer into town um, now okay it dipped down below 30 there for just a second I don't even know if I'll need to go to Cherno or Electro but I'm going to anyway so we will go ahead and head to, let's see, Cherno is the closest from where I'm at right now, so we will go ahead and go there. Hopefully I don't get killed by any of these zombies on my way. Come on. These fucking bicycles, I swear to god. Oh boy. That's a lot of zombies. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bike our way over to Chinaris, or Cherno rather. And uh, we're going to see what exactly, or what frames exactly we get right in the center of town. So uh, when we come back, I will be in Chernogorsk. All right, so here we are now, basically in the center of Chernogorsk. We're over here in the industrial district right now. Um, and we're getting between 25 and 30 frames. Uh, there we go. I just saw it hit 30. Um, not too bad for these settings, very high, but I know that we can do better. So what we're going to do is we're just kind of going to run around here and uh, see about how high the frames go, how low the frames go, all that kind of good shit. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I really do not like about the uh, just the preset settings, I guess you could call them, is the fact that they give you this little blur. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can tell that the blur is going on right now, um, but we'll uh, we'll fix all that kind of shit here in just a second. <clears throat> all right, so right around here, I'm getting you know mid to high or mid twenties to high thirties. Um, haven't seen it hit thirty in a little like a few seconds here um so we're just gonna go ahead and start changing around some video settings here uh let's see go into video so we're just gonna go ahead and move this down to high and uh, obviously <clears throat> excuse me obviously it's gonna change your uh, 3d resolution so you want to go ahead and bump that to whatever resolution your monitor is obviously which in this case mine is uh, 1080 1920 by 1080 all right so this uh, this gets us between you know 30 and whatnot so let's uh, let's run around and see what uh, see what FPS we get here. give everything a little bit of time so we're still pretty much looking at the same amount of frames per second uh, the game still looks good as far as you know 
uh, graphic detail and shadows and all that kind of stuff. I'm still not really digging this whole blur thing that's going on here. I think that really uh, kind of takes away from the, uh, the graphics of the game. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to leave all this on normal. We're going to leave that at disabled. Um, shadow detail on high. That's disabled. Okay, so this blurry stuff that you guys see on the screen, that is post-processing. You want to go ahead and disable that. And that gives you a much more clean and crisp view of everything that's going on. So basically, let's come over here and kill this zombie. The frames haven't really changed too much. Um, holy shit, there's a lot of zombies. Uh, the frames haven't really changed too much, but as you can see, the game looks a lot better. Um, it is running quite a bit smoother, in my opinion. Uh, we did have that little stutter there, but that's, uh, that's normal. That's probably just server-side stuff. Whoop. Okay, maybe there's, uh, maybe there's too many zombies now. <laughs> Go ahead and kill some of these. The proof is kind of in the pudding. But basically what I was saying is if you really, really, really wanted to get, like, the best FPS, just set your, uh, quality preference to very low. Obviously you want to change the, uh, your 3D resolution here to 1920 by 1080. Um, not really getting the best graphics here. I will go ahead and just leave all this kind of stuff as is. Not really too much has changed. Let me... Damn, I wish I could move this. Uh, not really too much has changed, though. We're on normal, normal. Uh, we've disabled the uh, Anis... What, whatever the fuck. I, I can't pronounce that right now. But the uh, we've, we've disabled this filtering. We've disabled the anti-aliasing, uh, which I believe was disabled to begin with there. Um, and we're looking right at Chernogorsk, and we are uh, getting some pretty good FPS here. Um, and then if we turn over here to the forest, we're getting high 40s to low 50s. Um, as far as running around and everything like that looks, I mean, the game, and once again, any kind of stutters you guys see, those are mostly server side. Every once in a while, it's, uh, it's client side, which means that there's, you know, that it's something to do with your PC uh, but most of these little stutters you'll see here are server side they happen in a lot of these uh, firecock servers every once in a while you get a little stutter in the game like you will like I have twice so far there so but, you know as we get over here closer to uh, Chernogorsk our frames are dipping into the low 30s um, not too terribly bad. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but I mean, the FPS, uh, it's still pretty decent. So, um, but these are definitely not the settings I like to use. Uh, once again, I will go to, uh, I think it automatically set it back to high for some reason. I don't know. Go ahead and disable this, and yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> those are the graphic settings that I like to use. I'm, I apologize for having to clear my throat so often. I, I just woke up a few hours ago, and just a little flim back there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely the settings that I like to go with right, uh, right here. Um, not the best FPS in towns. Gotta get away from this fucking zombie. Not the best FPS in like major cities like Electro, Chernogorsk, uh, Zeleno. The frames are a little bit better because I I guess it's just strictly because the town is a little bit smaller. Um, but also try to keep in mind that your frames also depend on what kind of uh, scripts the servers are running. If a server is running, you know, just a few scripts here and there, then you're probably going to get better FPS as opposed to a server that would be running, like, a long laundry list of different uh, scripts. So, 
That's pretty much it for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was uh, helpful to some of you guys out there. And uh, I'm probably going to bleed to death. So, <laughs> But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were able to learn a little bit something from this. Um, and basically, I just hope that, uh, you know, in, in the future, if you guys have any questions about what kind of FPS I'm getting and what kind of video settings I'm getting, I'm just going to point you guys to this video. So, anyways, guys, going to do it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.